Hey guys, today we're gonna implement your draggable hook that will allow us to drag any element of our doom tree. I've gotten a lot of questions as sort of where can I use this hook, where will it be useful, and so on. And I wanna answer to one. Certainly, you know about Trello and how it's using drag and drop feature to move elements and items within your lists. You also can try to implement it on your own with using your draggable hook. To make it, you need to calculate where your current item is and then put it to another list, if course equal or in the same course range. But that's another story and another video. Firstly, we'll create our draggable cars and try them out. Secondly, I'll explain to you how it works. To use this hook, we need to import your draggable hook from hook file and use wrap from React to get element reference. Then, we need to pass the element reference to your draggable hook and voila, it's working great. Now let's go deeper to our u draggable hook and explore it a bit. To save our current course, we have to use well-known useState hook that provides us opportunity to say temporary state in our React application. Then, when we press down on our Doom element, we need to save current course into variables and send our state. Afterwards, when we press down our button, I mean right mouse button, we have to remove our mouse move listener. Then, in order to get rid of memory leak, we need to clean up our events. I mean, I just remove it from the element. Next, in the second use effect hook, we simply change element transform property that changing our element position. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Please give me feedback, subscribe and like this video if you like it, and have a great day!